We're going on a road trip. We're going glamping. Welcome to my home. Oh, I get s'mores. And then they, they give you dog snacks. And then coloring things, that's cool. Ooh, I was thinking about bringing my own lantern. This is cute, it's really cool in here. Like temperature wise, I've always wanted a bed or a step up bed thing. Here's your kitchen area. Sorry, let me go slow. There's one set of windows and then the one where everyone gets their photos from. Oh my, I cannot wait to get a picture. Wow, that's so pretty. Then you have, wow, they have books. They have books, they have a radio. I think these are cards. Then we have a mirror, cool. These things, and then you have coffee for, hey, these are affordable. You have a pot and a pan. Our baby fridge. Okay. Thank you, Mickey. Then we have <gasps> they have, oh my gosh, there's a duty bag! I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting this at all. Oh, I think this is where our trash goes in. Let's check out the bathroom. Okay, we got your toilet when nature calls. You have your first aid. What's in here? Oh, there's tampons! Wait, Cora, I think that, isn't this black owned? I think this is black owned. Wow! Then you have a shower. This looks so nice. It smells like cabin. Okay, let's let Minky out. It's just so quiet. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. There's so much open space and the cabins are spaced out enough to where you have your own privacy, but you don't, wait, I see the next people. So it's close enough to where, I don't know, I don't feel super alone, which I guess for some people they might want to feel that way, but not me. I just want, you know, enough space to where we're not annoying other people, our neighbors, but I'm just looking around. It's, I'm super excited. I'm. I want to come back already. I thought this was going to be a one-time thing, but just from what I've seen inside, I'm just, well, we'll see. I think there's internet here, not internet, but there's cell, cell data. I can make calls from here. Um, so that's cool. Also, I think it is far from food places, but we have stuff here already and I'm just really excited. I think today's plan, we'll talk about that. I need to get unpacked and then I'll um, I'll catch you up. These are my books. Oh, oof. I brought a, in case I wanted to learn, a Korean reader, Korean history. This is a sticker book that goes along with next year's planner, the passion planner. So I can fill that out and then if I wanted to read fiction. And then this is to go just to plan out the rest of the upcoming week. And then coloring things for this. Oh, and then I have also, boom. So I just wanna leave, lay these out out in the open so I know that they're there because if, if I see it, then I'll use it. So I'm just setting that up right now. All my, since there's no vanity, I just laid out all my bathroom stuff on this little windowsill thing. And also I didn't even know that there is a additional storage space. So I put my shoes in there. And so all my other stuff just goes here 
clothes and my lotion goes there and so far that's it I have my snacks I have my books up there my coloring books I think that's what I'm gonna do tonight and then I just need to put everything else away okay so it's I actually don't know what time it is right now but I am outside in the picnic table I was gonna just do this inside and I was like I'm out here I have my own private area. Minky and Momo like to come out. Momo is actually roaming around the fire pit. So I'm going to be out here until the sun goes down and um, coloring. And then we're going to go inside. And then I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm going to try to stay off my phone, even though I have cell data and I can actually do stuff. I have this. I have my coloring things. And then I have what... Um, getaway left and then just I'm just reading everything just to make sure because I just like to do that whenever I go to, whenever I go to new places so we're just gonna do that um hang out the rest of the day did I already say that and then tomorrow I don't know I, there's one other path that's that way but these are going to be like 10 minute walks so and I don't really want to leave I just want to I don't know, sit out here. I really like the nature sounds. I want to stare out that window, the bedroom window, that huge giant one that looks out into these trees. Like if you're just outside, you're just like, mm, they're trees. But when you're looking at them through a window, it's like peace, zen, quiet, crickets, birds. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm just gonna do this. appreciate all my staging <laughs> I love creating these things anyway so you guys just watched me prepare breakfast oh it's hot also bland let me adjust my lighting oh that works I just lit the lantern you can see it right I think that's it. No, no, no. Oh, it's that. I lit that. <laughs> so it is six. Wait, how is it? I think it's six. Oh, it's six fifty. It's almost seven. And um, I've been. I didn't have the best sleep. I turned on Harry Potter. On I had downloaded it from HBO Max, and it was good up until a certain point, and then it just started lagging like. I can't even explain what was going on. Like, if I pressed play or stop, it would react five or ten minutes later, and I couldn't interact with the actual app. I had to interact, I had to control the play and stop through the, like, iPad settings. You know how if you, like, do a small from the corner and it shows the, the tiny panel? So that's what I had to do, and I did that towards the end constantly, but I was like, I really got into the movie. I was watching Harry Potter and The Order of the Phoenix, and so I just really wanted to finish it. But then I ended up falling asleep. The whole night, I would go to sleep in cycles, so it, I was sleeping for maybe an hour or two, and then I would wake up. At one point, I heard Minky and Momo growling at something and I saw that there was like some tiny small creature outside sniffing around so if some crazy person oops sorry I was smelling something as I was talking yeah that's breakfast it's 4 50 which means I need to build a fire let me tell you, the only reason I'm building this fire is because I bought some firewood and I don't have a house to return it to. 
and I don't have space to put wood inside my apartment, so I need to use this up. But I am... I've been sleepy the whole day, and I think it's because I didn't really have the best sleep for two nights in a row. I'm not even in the mood to eat a s'mores, but I feel like I need to, so we're going to do this. I guess that means I have to build a fire, otherwise I'll just be laying in this bed. Okay, I did a thing. I didn't want to physically read a book, so I turned on my audiobook, and I listened to it while I scrolled Instagram. And I'm not supposed to be on social media or online. However, I did learn that Britney's free. Woo! So, in the end, it was worth it. Also, I didn't really take away from anything because I didn't want to do... I literally don't want to do anything. The only thing that I want to do right now is watch Harry Potter. Oh, you know what? Yeah, it's supposed. I think being out here is supposed to make me want to do things, and I don't. I just want to lay in bed, not be productive. Is there anything? What do people do? What did we do back in the day when we didn't want to do anything? What did we do? What did I do when I was bored? Did I play outside? I have no idea. Did I work at? No, I wasn't working out then. Yeah. What were people doing? No, we were watching movies, except we just had it on VHS. Right? Is that it? I can't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so wilderness. Lola says hello. I can't wait. So we're gonna make it now. I have the candies. Oh crap. I have a honey made. I need to go back and get a uh, chocolate thing. And I have a stick. Give me a second. Okay. Milk chocolate. I'm gonna do this one. Okay, now we're gonna roast this bitch. I like to roast mine till it's burnt. Oh. You know, I could have done some prep work. Okay. And so we're just gonna this. Oh, let me get my chocolate. I know, Minky. Okay. We have that. Crap. Okay. This is gross. Okay. Oh. oh, it's hard. Hold on. Let me cook this some more. I don't think that was enough, but this is a... Okay. It's better. But this is also... Maybe it's harder for vegan marshmallows to melt. Okay, hold on. Hold on. It's coming. Okay. Let me just squish that in there. Okay, first bite. That's good. And we're done. It's about 7.30. I cleaned up and we are about to head back to Dallas. Thank you, cabin. Thank you to Harker for booking this cabin. We're back. Thank goodness. I, I always forget how good it feels to come back home. Regardless of how fun it was to be away, coming back home is just, uh, it's a great feeling. Anyway, so we're back. I am still in my cabin attire. I feel gross, but I came home to one, two, three, four, five, six packages. So we're gonna pick, 
we're going to open everything and then put the house back together while, excuse me, Minky, while I turn on my YouTube. I've been gone, what, I didn't watch YouTube videos probably on Friday, Saturday, and I'm missing it because I know there's going to be a lot of Christmas content on there. So, I'm looking forward to that. Minky, we have my chaperone with us today, Minky. This first package, I think this is the perfume. Yes. It's this. Let me think. And this is, so I got a sample of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry because I've been thinking, Minky, I've been thinking about it for so long. Here, you can smell from here. That I was just like, I need to try it out. I need to see if this is a scent that I like, if I like the fact that the tartiness goes away pretty fast. What is up with my hair? If the tartiness of it goes away pretty fast and do I like the leftover underlying tones? And so I wanted to get a, wow. I wanted to, I, I wanted to get a dupe. I'm a little key though. I wanted to get a dupe first. I think I'm going to end up getting Lost Cherry, but I wanted to see what these dupes are like because this only costs like $40. Okay, this is definitely, I spritzed this. I spritzed real Tom Ford Lost Cherry before I went on the trip, and this is giving me the same undertones. Oh my gosh. This smells exactly like it to me. Like, I'm not no connoisseur. Oh my gosh, this is a dupe. Oh wait, that smelled like chemicals, but whoa. I smell the initial tartiness and then the undertones. Like, do I even need to get the real one? I don't know. This is a yes for me. This is the brand. I don't know how to pronounce it. Next up is my Allure box. I got a waterproof, oh, waterproof shadow and liner. That's the color. I usually am not into that color, but whatever. This is a treatment mascara. I love any type of treatment thing. It's just a mascara with this type of brush. I'm not usually a fan of this type of brush, but this is a toner. It's Organic Flowers Toner Deep Rich. What does this do? It's a serum-like bouncy texture that leaves skin instantly dewy and plump. Ooh, after cleansing face, dispense onto hands and pat into the face. Okay. Oh, I also got this. This is the Neogen Youth Repair Cream. I've got this in my, um, there was another subscription box I got that I got it from, so. Oh, this isn't that. It's like a, so, I don't usually like those type of openings. Um, it's like water consistency, but it does give a little bit more. It, like, you know it's not, oh, it's like, yeah, you can definitely feel that there's something else in there. This is a cleanser. Oh, this is like a, it looks like a cream, a moisturizer. Okay. Well, today's a cleaning day, so that, which automatically means it's a self-care day, so I'll be using that. And then I got, oh, an eyelash curler. Do I need this? I use the Shiseido one that's extra curve for Asian eyes, so I don't know if I'm going to like that. This is a face oil, cute packaging, self-care night recovery oil. Ooh, look at that, super cute. This is a good package. I like, I especially like cleansers with just a little bit of makeup stuff because I don't wear a lot of makeup, so that was cool. And then we will do this package because I don't know what this is. What did I order? <gasps> So this is what it is. <laughs> oh. Ooh, I'm really 
hot in it. It's hot. So I'm going to have to wait on the light version to see how I like that. But it feels, honestly, it just feels like a, a sleeping bag onesie, which is, I think, I think that's their goal, and they accomplished it. This is my birthday present to myself. Actually, no, this is it. I just bought this because I wanted it. I ordered this from Intermix, and this is um, the, I think, the Etna boot from Ula Johnson. So get your shoe bags, shoe bag, excuse me, and this is the boot. It's a calf hair boot, and I got this because one, I love boots, I love combat style boots, and this is um, giving me red wing vibes, and I like that it had polka dots. It seemed unique, this is $550. Um, I thought this, the, the lighter background was going to be white. I don't know. For $550, I should be more excited than how I feel right now. I probably need to try this on. True to size, I'm 37. I don't know though. I don't love it. Last thing I got was some wreaths. Oh, sorry, garlands that I'm going to put in the front door. I bought two other, two alternatives. So this is one that I bought. Let me see what it looks like. No. And it's supposed to be, I think, what is this called? Winter Evergreen. And it's supposed to have eucalyptus on it. And this one has... This one is more festive. And I, I didn't actually want this until I saw this in person. Just because it's flocked and I'm not I'm trying to... I'm not really into flock anymore, and I didn't want to use these or ornaments because I thought it was just too much, but when I saw this in Target, it looked really nice. Yeah, it looks really nice. And I'm really into gnomes, so I bought this gnome thing that I put on the front door, which you already saw, and I think this would go better with this. So I'm trying to see which, which garland looks better in the front door, and I might return one or find another home for it. But I'm really... I don't know this might win because for the other one they have these berries yeah these berries and they're like made of styrofoam and they keep falling and so I'm worried about longevity for this one for that one but this one I don't think I would have a problem with that so I think we're probably gonna go with this one that is it for me I uh, self-care day has commenced we are going to be offline until then while I catch up on everything and just unwind from my vacation. So, bye guys!
Guess where the dogs are as soon as I started loading the car. There they were, waiting for me. So we're going to go straight home, and then we're going to go on our morning poo in their favorite, their favorite backyard, my apartment complex.